Hi. There are all kinds of concepts or views on the levels of our consciousness or our self personal development and so on. I kind of like what Dr. Michael Beckwith uh, calls like four different stages or four different levels of consciousness. And let me explain a little bit about those levels. These are my interpretations, of course, of what he says and some other people. In this concept, the first, the lowest level, is something like a victim state. In this level, a person feels that they are like a victim of, of the uh, environment. Life happens to them. They say things like, oh, why does this always happen to me? I mean, why, why am I always so unlucky or whatever? Those people feel that they don't have any control of what, what is happening in the world or what is happening in their life. They just kind of are taken with the, or taken by the life or the environment around them. Then the level two is kind of like a awakening level. You start to realize that, hold on, you do have some control of the uh, of your life. You can affect the environment. In this stage, you start to set goals, targets, and as you start to do actions and start to move towards those goals, you kind of like realize that, okay, hold on, I can have an effect on my own life. And as I behave and act differently, it also have an effect on my environment. In this level, you start to study personal growth or personal development, and you start to kind of like sh shake things up. And you start to notice that, yes, you can change things. You can change your own self, your own thoughts and your own behaviors. And those behaviors then have an effect on the environment. On level three, you start to kind of like recode yourself. You realize that your inner world, in fact, creates your reality the reality of the world where you live in. Because, you know, we all create the reality in our own minds, in our own brains, if you like. There are no two people in the world that have the same view on life. You create it yourself. And at this level, this stage, you start to practice things like gratitude, uh, letting go, forgiveness, and so on. And as you practice those things, you also start to notice how the world view changes. And also with that, the kind of the whole world around you start to change. You give different meanings to things. You let go of things and you take new, better things to replace them. You kind of start to mold yourself and then with that the world around you. Then the level four is what some people call like enlightenment. You have a connection with the universe or the higher self or whatever you feel. Some people talk about God or whatever it is for you. But that is some kind of level that you, you have a connection to something that is higher than yourself and you start to live accordingly. Now NLP, Neuro Linguistic Programming, is an excellent way to move yourself from the lower levels towards the higher levels, especially between levels of one and three. On level one, with the help of NLP, you can start to realize 
that, hold on, you can affect your thoughts. You can affect, therefore, your actions and behaviors. And then you start to realize with your new behaviors and actions how they will affect the world around you. You start to become aware, so you are moving with those uh, techniques and uh, principles of P uh, NLP. You start to uh, move to the second level and awaken a new you inside of you. With the help of NLP, you start to make yourself better goals. You start to become aware of what is really important to you? What are your values? What, what kind of rules do, can you set to yourself that you want to live by? And how to move on with your life? You, at this level, you also start to kind of like create more of your own reality and moving to the uh, third level. And NLP really teaches that we all create our own realities. And with the techniques and tools that NLP has, you can really start to remold yourself, your thoughts, your inner world. I don't know on what level you are, but I know that NLP can really help you move from a higher level. And when you do that, you will realize that you're, you can make your life better. You can uh, change the world around you. You can achieve better things in your life. Now, this doesn't happen overnight. When you take a licensed practitioner of NLP course, seven to nine days, you will uh, realize several big changes in you, most probably. However, that is still only the start. But then you have already the tools to pay attention to different things to improve your life. And as you continue your personal development, you might take the master practitioner of NLP course or whatever, and maybe study some other stuff as well, of course. But that, those tools that you will gain with NLP, you can move yourself efficiently from lower levels towards higher levels. And you will notice how they have an effect on your life, how you can improve your life. I hope you have found this video useful and inspiring for you. I wish you all the best on your journey towards a better version of you and towards a better life for you. Thank you so much and be well.